this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode Porous Pockets, requested by Ethan Morens. So this episode is about when SpongeBob hears the shrieking of a clam, and this clam happens to have this pearl. So SpongeBob and Patrick mistaken this pearl for a volleyball and his customer wants to give him a small fortune just for this volleyball when it's actually a pearl. So this small fortune that SpongeBob agrees to sell to this customer it happens to be shitloads of money. I'm talking about trucks coming left and right, dumping so much money into SpongeBob's lawn and SpongeBob and Patrick, they go crazy with the money. But then SpongeBob gets to the point where he has all of these friends and he betrays Patrick over all of these people that he calls his friends when really they're just friends with him for the money. And in my honest opinion, I gotta say that I actually really, really enjoyed Porous Pockets. I actually thought it was a really good episode. It had a really good storyline to it. It had some very good jokes to it. And all around, I just thought it was very well handled. I really enjoyed how the episode opened in the, in the beginning with Jellyfish Fields and you hear the shrieking of this clam. Patrick is doing well you know, his usual Patrick stuff. And I thought it was pretty funny how they mistaken this pearl for a volleyball. And it's funny how Bungeob just gets rich just by selling this pearl, what the customer called the small fortune turn into much more than small fortune. I love how SpongeBob and Patrick are getting crazy with all the money that SpongeBob has now that he's rich. But I think what really intrigued me the most about Porous Pockets is how it does have a very good message to it. It has a very good message about how sometimes you just need to enjoy the simplest things in life. How money isn't everything. And how greediness can make you lose of what's most important in life. Like SpongeBob, he pushed away Patrick for all of these people that aren't really his friends. They're just friends with him, just for the money. And I actually really did like how the episode played it along. It was just really interesting to watch. In life, the most important things are your family and your friends and just the simple things that life has to offer you. And sometimes being rich may not be as great as what a lot of us imagine it to be. So this episode, I feel, played that out in a very well done fashion. It's a funny episode, but I think I was more intrigued with the premise alone. And the only flaw I do have with this episode is just how SpongeBob, he was a jerk to Patrick, he pushes Patrick away, and you feel bad for Patrick because, you know, he lost his best friend, but I could see why that had to be there though because it was played out for a very good message that the writers wanted to portray in this episode. But you know, I still thought it was pretty messed up for Spongebob to just ignore his best buddy Patrick because his best buddy of all is Patrick. And I did love the ending. I thought the ending was very touching. I loved how Spongebob learned his lesson after when he lost all of his money. He loses all of his money. He loses all the people he considered friends. And, you know, it just made him open his eyes. I thought it brought up for a very heartwarming and sweet manner. So overall, I thought Porous Pockets is a very superb episode. It had a really good storyline. It had some good humor to it. There were definitely some funny moments. Definitely the moment where Patrick arrives and he sees that SpongeBob's pineapple is now his big mansion. SpongeBob and Patrick when they go to the mall and then SpongeBob has his head ripped off. Although it's one of those gross out moments, but it made me laugh. So I'm gonna give Porous Pockets a nine out of 10. So comment down below and let me know what you think of the episode Porous Pockets. This is 22 Tiger Dude and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. Mm.